welcome to part two of what Miami Beach is doing to keep its shorelines from basically running thin. Part two is gonna actually show the efforts. They are actually going on right now. They have the construction machinery all over the sand. Part of the beach is actually closed. And this is all just gonna be really, really cool and interesting. So you can see here, this part of the beach is closed. It's barricaded. There's a guard right there, or basically a construction worker sitting down making sure nobody crosses the line and they have their trucks over here oh this is so cool we're gonna have to walk a little further down to actually enter the beach and then see just how massive this project is and it is massive they are essentially extending the shoreline bringing in sand from out in the atlantic ocean and then basically filling the empty spaces where the shoreline has receded due to erosion and this is a constant thing they have to do over and over again they've actually developed an entire lane for vehicles construction vehicles to come by and check this out where do you see a speed limit on a beach this one it says vehicle lane do not block speed limit 10 miles per hour and it stretches from these trucks which is where we started the video and that's not the interesting part the cool part is a mountain of sand that is all the way down there and we're gonna walk and go check it out all right we have reached the mountain of sand and they are actually extending it way out into the ocean not sure if we could get a good view from the front of it. We've got a construction worker literally just sitting there enjoying the beach view. Making sure nobody crosses the line because it is an active construction zone as you guys see here. Not a bad spot to be at work. Let's see if we get around here. There's actually people swimming right next to this mountain of sand. And as you see over there, it actually comes out and they're actually extending it. Like I said, over the ocean essentially. You can see how far in we are right now and how far out the sand goes over there. So yeah, this is a pretty big project and it's not the only place they do this. They've done it all the way up in Virginia Beach, which essentially is necessary all across the Eastern United States as the ocean continues to erode the sandy beaches, especially here in Miami Beach. A lot of people come here, it's very touristy. They wanna maintain it, not just for the sake of keeping water out of residential or hotel areas or basically the island but keeping it pretty much beautiful and pristine like it is today because of all the hard work from these construction workers. I can see the convoy of trucks coming this way with basically truckloads of sand. It's gonna make its way down here. This makeshift road that they've created where you can only go 10 miles per hour. Of course, talking to just the trucks. No actual vehicles pass through on the beach. It's pretty cool. Oh, this is so cool. Never actually seen this work that they're doing here in Miami Beach. They've done it in years in the past. But this is my first time actually seeing it in action. You can see there they're making their way over behind the mountain. You actually see some of it being dumped right now. Like they're not wasting any time at all. Just right there. They're currently dumping. All of them are getting in position right now. I'm the only person like recording this. Everyone's just going about their day. And then they essentially just go right back. But here it is, sand being dumped on the pile that they're gonna use to extend the shoreline. We're seeing it in action right now. All right, as soon as they are done, they are not wasting any time. They are going right back on the line, heading north, grabbing more sand, turning around, and then coming back and doing the same. And that's exactly how this came to be we're going to show you guys where they're getting the sand from i did say they source it from out in the atlantic but they have a storage area here nearby at a park you can see just how deep the hole is from the tire marks all right so i just flew the drone and let me walk you through the process so they have all of the sand basically at a park it's i believe indian creek park from there a dump truck moves it onto the sand of the beach from there the three dump trucks line up and one of the machineries picks up the sand and fills up each of the dump trucks. From there, they line up the dump trucks and head further south, which we already saw the, the conga line. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it that, of them coming down to the area they are filling at the moment. From there, they each take turns, or simultaneously, dumping the sand on the already big mountain, which is a result of them doing it multiple, multiple times per day and then uh, another truck comes in and I guess sorts it out. But I recorded the entire process on my drone 
and I'm so proud of myself for that because it all just worked out. They didn't take too long. I mean, this drone battery is pretty limited, but I was able to get it from when they were filling the truck to then lined up coming down, dumping their sand, and then heading back to do it all over again. Guys, we just got the whole process on video. I'm very excited about this project, if you guys can't tell. It's not every day you see big construction trucks, dump trucks on your beach and a mountain of sand just waiting to essentially make the shoreline bigger. So I hope you guys learned something today. Like I said, if you haven't seen part one, it doesn't show the process like we did today. This video is more about the process in action. The first one is pretty much about why they do this, where they get the sand from, what they look for in the sand before they actually bring it here, stuff like that. So if you guys enjoy this video, you'll love the first one. That said, hit the like button if you learned something new and thought this was really cool. If you didn't know this existed, I'm glad I was able to inform you. So yeah, hit the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next video.